Part of me doesn't even care, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Part of me is like, it's fine, I have legs. Hi, this is Malini, and you're watching a special episode of Malini's Girl Tribe, and I have the original boss, Lily oh, Singh, here. Thank you so much. I have Happy to tell here. you, your Girl Love campaign inspired me so much. And I remember asking all these Bollywood actresses to say something nice about each other. I know, and other. I've always seen the one line. I've always been like, a real one, a real one. Yeah. And you know, and I think it's so important because people think girls can't get along. And mm -hmm. you know, I think you've really proved that that doesn't have to be the case. Right. And so we started a Girl Tribe because we realized that you know, girls, you know, unfortunately in India, get really weird messages in their inboxes. Okay, mm -hmm. Omg. Mm -hmm. We did a whole video where guys read like creepy DMs. Oh my god! Get. And my husband That's had to read them, and he's like, "This is what you got." <laughs> and literally, I'd put up a message, and I'm like, you know, inspirational quote, and everyone's yeah. saying something nice, and there'll be a guy who says, "Come see my abs." Yeah. And that's like one yeah. of the nicest messages. Yeah, like, yeah I, no, I, I know, got, I know yeah. you're being very yeah. political that's like, right now. <laughs> so I was like, okay, what if we create a safe space where women can really connect with each other? Mm -hmm. So I started Malini's Girl Tribe. Amazing. A Facebook group. And there's a lot of girls there who wanted to ask you a couple questions. Yay! So, okay, first cool. one. Okay, this one is from Kruti Shah. And she says, how does it feel getting your own show? And does it mean you still have to make round rotis? <laughs> I think my parents have given up on me making round rotis. Also, I don't eat roti very much. I eat naan because it has way more carbs and I love carbs. <laughs> I'm so thrilled to get my own show. I Like I was telling you earlier, yeah. I haven't completely processed it. I've processed like 50% of it and it's just, I think the biggest thing that has changed in my life is that I realize this is something much bigger than myself. Yeah. I think up until this point, many of my accomplishments were like, Lily, milestone on her yeah. channel, milestone. But this is like a big, yeah. big, I feel it was like than me, girls you know? like you, and then I'm like, I'm like, wow, I'm just, I'm waiting. This girl I'm is just really like thrilled. nailing and it. And I think more than anything, I'm so overwhelmed by just the support I received. Yeah. There's been so many people that have been so proactive in supporting this and being like, we're gonna watch the show. It's, it's legitimately up. like you became like the first female president. It's a, that kind of excitement. Everyone Thank is you. like, yeah. Or prime minister. Prime, prime minister, minister, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> and you know what I also love is that you know your Twitter bio says all these things you do, and then it yeah. says, no, Auntie, I'm not yeah. married yet. And you know the girl tribe has this issue all the time. They get so much pressure, like when are you gonna get married? Mm -hmm. What's the stress? So do you, do you have some advice for them? Like how should they deal with that? Because you don't also want to be like, no, tell your parents to like F off, you know? I mean, I've always been an advocate for really trying to level with your parents. I mean, as, as I get it. I used to be a young girl, my parents used to say no to me, and yeah. I used to be, oh my God, I'm just gonna rebel and do things against them. <laughs> yeah. And I've just learned that the way to actually get your parents on the same page as you is to show them. Yeah. You know, so many times in my life, whether it was making YouTube videos, whether it was moving to LA, I didn't do it out of being a rebel and out of trying to prove them wrong. I had to like literally work really hard yeah. and show them that I would be okay and make them understand. And my parents have really come along. So I would say, hustle really hard until your parents are no longer concerned about whatever it is you're trying to prove yeah. to them. You know? And you know, mostly, and I think the truth is, parents love you. Yeah. They do love you and they care about you and sometimes they're just not equipped to deal with the exactly. way the world is I think is especially my parents, you know, yeah. having immigrated, yeah. they grew up in a different time and place and they're not saying no to me because they want me to be unhappy and they hate me. They yeah. just literally are like, are you going to be poor? Yeah. Are you going to like be able to survive? When yeah. you go to LA, will you know how to cook dinner? So I think yeah. once you show them, they're like, look, I've established myself. Now I don't, my parents I don't need are to like, cook my own dinner no more. Yeah, my mom came <laughs> to my house in LA and she was like, you don't have to get married if you don't want to. I mean, like, you're doing Do fine. You yeah, know? exactly. It's so funny. It's so true. Because when I lived abroad, my parents made me do this Tuesday night arti, mm -hmm. which we don't do here. Right, right. It was just kind of like, you know, make sure you don't forget right, your roots. Right, right, Exactly. All right. Second question. Um, Estella Varghese says, who's your current inspiration? And what's the one quality that you observe and love when you first meet someone? My current inspiration is, I'm going to go with Emma Watson. Nice. Because I feel like she continuously does so much for women and she does it with such finesse and yeah. such grace and such intelligence. And I don't think she does it in a lazy way. Yeah. And she doesn't do the whole like, girl power for no reason. She like really dives into issues yeah. in a very intelligent way with lots of perspective and I think <coughs> that's great. Um, the other part of the question was... Uh, uh, what do you first notice when I you... What first notice? Okay, so being who I am, that this answer has changed. <laughs> I first notice how someone treats the people around me. Mm. I think because I, I'm, when I'm on set and I'm doing yeah. things, it's very common for someone to come up to me and be nice, yeah. but then I also pay attention to like, how, they how are they're treating people. my team, mm. my assistant, how they're treating everyone else and the PAs, and I think I pick up on that. Yeah. Because I really want to be around people that difference. treat everyone kind of with respect. Yeah, you know? yeah absolutely. You can always tell, it makes mm -hmm. a big difference. Uh, Nukti wants to know, uh, how do you cope with the pressure of being on top? And you know, or- On top? Yeah. Girl, where? Top of the world. Please. Um, I don't think I'm on top, but thank you. Uh, in terms of pressure, I eat 
food. <laughs> I like the curcuri. Yeah, I it's mean, honestly, video. I wish I could tell you some like secret to be like, oh, this is what I do. I, sometimes I have yeah. mental breakdowns and I lie down on my living room floor and I cry. Yeah. But I think what it is is then I get up and I keep going. So yeah. how I cope with pressure is just by continuously having positive self-talk and an inner dialogue that's positive and then continuously getting up. Like I can honestly tell you over the past nine months, it's been a tough year. Yeah. There's been many times I've come home, sat on my floor, had a bit of a mental breakdown and then I'm like, I had done. All right, I'm gonna check some emails now. And then I get up and it's like, that's that, the moment yeah. where I decide to get up is just yeah. the, the moment I try to focus on. Oh, wow, so see, that's yeah. what you can do. Just like a little, take a little cry break. Please don't think then, I'm someone that just whizzes through life and is like, no, yeah. I can deal with all this. stuff. No, like we all have our moments. Possible. Absolutely. Yeah. Shilpa Gupta wants to know, how do you know feminism so well? And because you're Bollywood rap, by the way, mm -hmm. it was epic thank on you. so thank many you, thank levels. You, thank you. Yeah. Um, I honestly don't. I have learned so much from other women and from just research over the past couple years. So everything I do know about feminism is a reflection of my personal experiences, but also just proactively learning. Mm. And I think everyone should do that. I think we should all proactively learn about causes that we believe in. For me, it's gender equality. So I try to read a lot of articles. I try to read a lot of books. And when I meet women who are doing great things in the space, I try my best to pick their brain. Mm. So it's just something I prioritize learning about. But years ago, I didn't know anything about this. Yeah. And so I encourage everyone, if you're male or female and you don't know about feminism, you got Google, figure it out. Come on, stay a student forever. I love it. I also wanted to say a big thank you to Ole. I love you. Ole mm. gave me the call and said, will you do an interview with Lily? I'm like, oh, I, I'm I like, also oh. love Ole. I'm so excited. Mm. And you know, I'm actually doing their 28 day challenge. Oh yeah? So I have to post a picture today with like uh, no makeup. Yep. And I'm freaking out. It's going to be great. Because I've I also really done it. bad skin. No, listen. And this is like, you can ask any of my friends, even when I'm off camera, I have turned into the person that's like, did you put on SPF today? Because it is so significant to really? change my life. I swear, there's no need for me to lie about this. My skin, if you look at my old videos back in the day, compared to now, my skin is a hundred times better. That's amazing. So I'm going to take that 28 day challenge. Also because I, and I love that you talk about because I have such bad acne. Mm -hmm. And like my best friend yesterday has this like tiny pimple. She's like, I've got a pimple. I'm like, And you're like, you. stop it, stop Punch it, stop you it. in the face for that. And you also don't like realize, I used to be that person that was like, how bad is the sun? So you never realize, yeah. but then it also like mentally, doing this small thing every day, every night and every yeah. morning, has made me feel like I take yeah. better care of myself. That's true, yeah, it's it like does. a moment of I'm like, there's 30 seconds where I'm putting this on my face, look yeah. at me, oh, I'm so balanced. I <laughs> <laughs> love it. I found you a message for the girls in the Girl Tribe. They love you so much and they're so, so excited for all your success. Do you have a message? Uh, yeah, of course I have a message. I would say one of the things I wish someone told me when I was growing up was to, it's very simple, ask questions. I feel like as women, especially in South Asian community, we're never encouraged to ask questions, to question things. And I really think you should. If there's a tradition you don't agree with, if something is happening you don't think is right, to stand up and ask why is this happening or why is this the way it is, is one of the most important things you can do. Because otherwise we become complacent and we go through life doing things, thinking that's the way they should be. But they don't have to be that way if they're not beneficial and equal for everyone. Let your vibe attract your tribe. Oh, that rhymes. That's good. That's I like right. That. Miss yeah. Maloney's a rapper. No big deal. <laughs> One no day. big deal. And will you sign something for the girl of tribe? Of course. Just put a, a, a Lily Singh message Harry in there. Potter looking book yeah. over here. <laughs> yeah. it's a I planner. love it. Is it a book of spells? Mm. Oh, it could so be. So I just saw, I don't know the message or I just saw Just it. a message like a okay, cool. something for one of the girls is going to win this. So oh. stay tuned. Oh. Yeah. So this is a special platter that you can win and stay tuned because we're going to tell you how you can win it very soon on the girl tribe. All right. Keep smiling, stay boss, hustle harder. Yeah. Boom. Thank you so much, ladies, for watching another amazing episode of The Girl Tribe. Makes me so happy when I meet wonderful women like this. And yeah, that's where the, pe the pens vanish. <laughs> it really is a book of spells. What? Expelliarmus, pen. Bye. Bye.